this is Cowboy 2011. Today I'm just going to give you a little more uh, speculation on what the medic and um, or the tier 5 medic support and monster could be. What they could have as abilities and stuff like that. So before we go into that, we're going to start taking a look at the previous two, the Assault and Trapper. with, And let's see if we can uh, get some theories going around. So we start off with Linux. This Linux has a uh, Thunder Child. She is Idea Linux. That's her name, Idea or... Something like that, IDA. I don't know how to pronounce how you'd pronounce that. Idea. <laughs> anyway, um, she has made this Thunder Child. She has a melee weapon, the first one ever in uh, Evolve, and she also has this uh, like Thunder Smash, or Thunder um, Leap. Uh, it's a it's a Leap Smash. <laughs> and then we have uh, Jack, who has something that brings something weird to the table. Everyone else had to orbit around harpoons or stasis grenades. His uh, repulsor works the exact opposite from harpoons, of course, it's pushed into the way and whatnot. So what did these two uh, abilities tell us? <coughs> Excuse me. So one, we have the Assault. The Assault has this Leap Smash, just like Goliath. I believe that this uh, set of Tier 500s are going to be learning from the monster, which is going to be really cool. So like, uh, like I said, the Assault learned from Goliath. He was, <coughs> she was the first of the Tier 5 Assaults. She, Learn from a tier one monster, the first monster, Goliath. And that was his leap smash. Now we go on to Jack. What did he learn? Well, the second one would be Goliath or Kraken, and of course we got a repulsor one, something that pushes you away, kind of like a vortex. Perhaps I can. That's what I'm thinking. You can decipher <clears throat> what you want it to be any other way. So something like Kraken's vortex pushes him away, pushes him at bay. The only way to get away from his left, right, backwards, you know. <clears throat> and whatnot, you can't go straight into it. Now, so with this going around, the medic, if this is going on the pattern, would have to learn something from Wraith. And what could it be? Could it be a decoy? Who knows? There's a couple of things that come to mind. We have a Wraith as a warp blast. Of course, this could be something where he flies. <clears throat> God flies in and gets a healing burst out and flies. He can he can fly <laughs> pretty much. That's what I'm thinking, because it's really emphasizing the wings on his picture. Of course, with the gun, but really the wings. What's another ability he could have? Well, he could have something like abduction. Maybe he can actually go grab hunters and pull them out of safety while healing them. You know, that'd be actually really cool. Over there, grab a hunter, come back, and heal him. Or whenever he's a, he grabs him, heals him, or does a healing burst there, and comes back, and you know they're healed, or something along those lines. What's well, another one? Um, we have, of course, the decoy I went over. A warp blast was the thing. What else does he have? The abduction was the flying. Um, oh, supernova. Supernova. <laughs> supernova. So what could this be? What could the medic do with supernova if it could be implemented into a medic? Well, um, I'm thinking more like Kyra something. You know how Kyra can speed up everything around her in this orb. What if this medic can place the orb down like this would be actually interesting if you could place it down and it could actually slow the monster down like uh whatever he's in it it actually slows him down now i'm it's probably bad it's probably not a good idea but it's not a bad idea um if he didn't have cloak if this new medic doesn't have cloak this could be a survivability one where he can pop the orb and then when he's in the orb he can run around and it'd be hard for the monster to come in uh give you an example say there's a tree or some sort of like a a tree or truck or a rock where you can go around it's pretty small and the monster can go around it jump on top and try to cut you off so you jump on top of there and put that orb down all of a sudden the monster is uh slower in this orb and this gives you more survivability because you can now run around the rock while him being slow and try to stay in that orb while staying on the opposite side of the monster and whatnot and what could this do for like a how could this affect Kraken. Well, that's maybe while in the orbit slows him down. He has to use stamina to keep up higher, whatnot. Try to get the medic and stuff like that. I it could really be anything. This is our out of the. Uh, these are ideas that are just kind of out there. Just how seeing what um, just seeing how the assaulted trapper were. They're kind of completely different. They brought something new to the table. So that's my, I guess what I think the medic could be. Of course, I could be wrong. For all we know, the maybe his wings he could fly and while he's flying uh, from A to B 
he gives out a healing powder or something like that. The closer you are to the ground, or the closer the hunters are to your flying path, the more they get healed. The farther the way down or the higher altitude you are and they're on the ground, they get less healed. Or something something insane like that, you know, and whatnot. So uh, before we get on to... Huh, before we get on to... I think the, the Tier 5 monster and support are almost one and the same. If you go on the thing, I was thinking that maybe the tier uh, 5 support by going by the order could have something to do with behemoth but I'm going to just rule out behemoth because I could not think of anything other than to stop the monster create a wall for uh, your teammates to go by but Jack already has that covered so that's not only a vortex but a rock wall from behemoth so what could this tier 5 uh, support be? This is actually really interesting. Um, I'm going to play a little uh, clip of uh, Maggie and Lazarus talking back and forth about the monsters, and we're going to go off some ideas on that, so here you go. The monsters seem to be getting weirder. I wonder if there's any limit to what they can do. I fear there is not. We only met the Kraken after the Goliaths fought Markov. Lightning for lightning. And when that was not enough, Wraith. And when stealth was not enough, Behemoth. You think eventually they'll evolve something we can't beat? Think about the monster that learned from me, that can bring its minions back from the dead. Right. About halfway through my question, I thought, why am I asking this? So as you can see, Lazarus is concerned that the monster is going to adapt to him. It's adapted to everyone else, you know. Uh, he says, like, uh, lightning for lightning, um, stealth, and they just went armored. What happens if they learn from me? And of course, Maggie's like, I don't know why I asked that question. Well, this brings a table. What happens if this T5 monster got his hands on something or could do Lazarus' thing? Well, we can start thinking of this theory and see how it works. One, to copy the Lazarus device, you have to have a Lazarus device. So the monster would have to have it in order to adapt it and like do something to it to make it part of its thing. And for all we know, Lazarus, or this one, I, his name's really weird. I just call him Lazarus, even though Lazarus is like pretty much all of them. So this Lazarus is here hunting with them. So there's no way they have got his uh, healing or his Lazarus device because he's still alive. You know, he's still alive, even though he dies on the planet uh, during missions, he's technically still alive and whatnot. So what? how would this even be true? How is this possible? Well... I started thinking, how would this be possible? And we go to Torval, a tier 4 assault. If you remember what happened to him, he was on a ship, monster wrecked it, ship went down, stuff like that. What's interesting to note is he is not scared of Lazarus. He pretty much knows what Lazarus does. He thinks that Lazarus can do his job really good. He's not afraid of him. He's actually quite familiar with Lazarus. And how is that? Well, one of this, they had this ship, I can't think of the ship's name. And the monster got out, got free, got rid of the ship, right? And now Torvald is looking for this monster. Anyway, he doesn't, I don't think he says it in dialogue, but if you go in the backstory online, and this is confirmed. This is 100% confirmed. A Lazarus man was on this ship. A Lazarus man was on Torvald's ship and went down with it. Now this brings the, the, the possibility that the monster has a Lazarus device and has implemented it into his, uh, evolved it into a system, you know, gone around it. So we could have a monster with a Lazarus device. Now, uh, what's the probability of that? Probably not high, because, uh, every monster of this kind would have to adapt with it, and whatnot, and, uh, I don't see that being high, I don't see it just being one of these bug things going around with a Lazarus device. So we go on to that, but... Maybe it's this is why it's taking for so long in the storyline for this monster up here. It's adapting it. It's telling everyone how to adapt to it. And this is where the Lazarus, uh, why Lazarus is scared. <laughs> we all know Evolved loves their backstories. So we have something like that. So this goes on to, to the Tier 4 support. Now everyone with uh, Ida, Ida Linux and, of course, Jax is also Linux, Jack Linux. They are related. So everyone's thinking it's more of a family uh Tier 5 family, which it's possible, but I don't think so. I think it's going to end either at the medic, but I don't think support is uh, part of the family. And here's what I think. 
I think support, well, this is actually pretty interesting. I think support is that Lazarus man that died on that ship, or supposedly died. Now, what would make me think that? Well, one, it looks like he is, uh, well, he, I was first thinking the support was a sheet, because it's got a really thin silhouette and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it makes sense, because really skinny, has like an hourglass figure and whatnot. So this could actually be a woman. Now, of course, it doesn't explain. In, emphasize if Lazarus are all men or all women or or if there's women and whatnot. So this could be a maybe it's a Lazarus woman. Who knows? But anyway, how he emphasizes his hand is how it's infected and it's on his, uh, I think it's his left hand. I'm not too sure. Left or right hand. I can't hmm. I can't think of it. I don't got an image on me. But anyway, how it emphasizes is it's infected. His hand is infected. What happens if this Lazarus device is infected now what if this is a lazarus man coming back and it is infected now it could do a possible number of things but how would this be possible of course and if that's true it has the monster implemented it or evolved where it can use it and whatnot so that's always the question but i think that the tier 5 support <clears throat> was lazarus man and i say was it could be he she if it's a he it's going to be awfully weird because uh the only thing I can think of is uh, Lazarus' emblem, or emblem. If you know the emblem that you get on Evolve, I'll put it on. It's like a dead guy, dead guy with a hood, stuff like that. So it could be that this Lazarus man was dead. He died during the ship, and the monster took his body. This is all speculation right here. It's not, He took his body and went off with it and started, like, infecting his body, or the Lazarus device, trying to figure out how it worked, this monster, right? And say that he infected the Lazarus man's arm, you know, with the glove, and learned how it worked, and implemented it into him, how it worked, and then after that spread across all the monsters like him, or it mass-produced and all of a sudden they all can do it, or something along those lines. And before it left, it accidentally activated this Lazarus device, and it revived this Lazarus man. Of course, he's been dead for a long time. This is going to have some weird effects on him, like being skinny as hell because everything has been eaten out of him, or, you know, what is it called? Um, decayed and stuff like that. This could be a really weird, awkward uh, support. Maybe this is where the emblem could come in, because if they're hinting at Lazarus Man, all of a sudden we have this support who has, looks like a Lazarus device, and now has a hood just like the Lazarus emblem, which would be actually really interesting. And that's all I could really think of what this support could do, for this support is going to be around the Tier 5 monster. I think there's nothing really you can do with Behemoth, it's just brute strength, and there's all these assaults for it, so you don't really need to adapt the Tier 5 uh, Hunters for this one, but the Tier 5 support looks like it could adapt around, or have the power, or something similar to the Tier 5 monster, whether it be, uh... <laughs> I, I really don't know, I have no idea what it could be. And lastly, we have the Tier 5 monster. Now, people think this is, a uh, Generation 1 Basilisk Soldier, which it could be, it honestly could be, but it doesn't really make sense of why a Basilisk Soldier would be siding with the monsters and helping them what they're doing, and, you know, it doesn't really make sense unless it's like a, I guess unless there's something missing with uh, monsters, like a, maybe they're genes spliced into different animals and you get this stuff or whatnot, I really, really don't know how a Basilisk Soldier, or a Generation 1 Basilisk Soldier would work. It's possible, but I highly doubt it. Just because he's a bug doesn't really, doesn't really make me think it's a Basilisk Soldier. For all we know, it's a parasite who has infected a human host, and this is what it's come to. You know, it has nothing to do with that. So yeah, this is what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Now, his abilities could be really weird, but um... As we've seen with past uh, monsters, they get little nicknames, like uh, Goliath was called Scorpio, I, I believe, and he had pincers and stuff like that. And of course, this is before he, I think he also had fire breath and stuff, and he got rid of the pincers and stuff like that. Um, then after that, we go on to Kraken, and his name was Grounder, because he grounded people from the air and whatnot. And I think Ray's uh, codename was like Siren or something around that, where it looked like it was an illusion. That's why she had that uh, figure of like a woman and like decoy you know it's misdirection and stuff like that anyway we go on to behemoth i think his name was like bob or something weird like that and those always gave you an idea of what uh 
except for Behemoth. I don't really know what Bob had to do with the armor, dude. But anyway, these had a gave you an idea of what uh, the monster could have with uh, powers and stuff like that and whatnot. So what is this one's code name or development name? So I can't really find anything if, if this is true or not, if this is just like speculation of what it could be. But uh, apparently it's called The Lurker. That's what this Tier 5 Monsters level development name is, The Lurker. Of course, it could be completely false, and someone just put it out there, and everyone, from what I'm reading, everyone likes that name. I don't know if it's true or not, but what could that mean? Could it lay eggs that lurk around, or is it more like a... I, I don't know, with the spider thing, I really don't know. If it just like sets traps and lurks around until you set them off, then after that it pounces for it to get it in its favor, or whatnot i'm not too sure of how it would work so yeah anyway that's all i could really think of with uh with what these really could be it's really interesting and whatnot of course with the last thing is cool because uh he was on the ship a monster has an opportunity to get the lazarus device from this uh lazarus man that was on the ship and of course this lazarus lazarus man could be coming back as a support so yeah that's pretty much it anyway this is cowboy 2011. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.